Question 296. How can you map a file to memory? Short answer, there is a pattern for that. Less short answer, there are actually two patterns. In both cases, you start by creating a file channel by providing a path and some open options. Then you have two very similar patterns. The first one consists in calling map, passing another option, a position in the file you want to map, and the size of the region to be mapped. This is the old-fashioned code that returns a byte buffer. The second pattern consists in passing another argument, which is an arena. Then what you get is a memory segment, and this pattern is much better than the first one for many reasons. Closing your arena, usually in a try with resources statement, invalidates your memory segment and flushes your modifications to the disk if needed. One last word, be careful because closing your file channel does not invalidate your byte buffer. And if you continue writing data to it, this data may still be written to the disk. Probably not what you would expect.